Hi, this is Freya with another singing tip and today I want to talk to you about belting without yelling. So please stay tuned. Maybe you've had this problem before that you have the feeling whenever you're trying to sing high and belt out, it gets extremely loud uh, in comparison to the rest of your voice, whatever you do. So recently a student asked me, how do I control that? And the thing is, when I'm in the studio with some of my students, I can tell the difference between like when I do it um, and they do it. Because on certain songs, when it does have a huge range where it does go low and way up high, the difference is really like when I do it, it's really controlled and it doesn't actually go into overdrive. <laughs> Like on the recording but whenever my students do some of those passages when it goes really high and you do have to belt it out it goes into overdrive now the difference is like not yelling it out but actually singing it belting it out and while I have told you that it is kind of like a yelling motion it's like my yeah and it's great exercises to do that to find your belting voice so the most important aspect here is support 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 very very important so you know how to belt the thing is try to not think too loud let's do this exercise ma 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 now the thing is what we're going to try now is not get loud on the top but have rock hard support when I go too loud, it's ma, 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 ma. And what's gonna happen when I go really high, I'm really gonna strain my vocal cords because I'm putting more and more pressure on them. I don't wanna put more pressure on them by putting more air through there. On the contrary, I actually wanna send less air through, which means I have to make even harder and stronger support. So I kind of hold the air. And I always imagine it like this, you have to make that air column that you know, sits right below your vocal cords that is gonna be moved through there as dense as you can possibly do it. Like really condense that air column. So the difference between ma, 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 ma and ma, 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 ma. Now I went into minor, let's do major. Ma, 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 ma. Ma, 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 not get loud. Ma, 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 ma. Don't go. Ma, 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 ma. Try to hold it. Hold it. Ma, 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 ma. So let's do a long held note now. Try to hold one that's kind of. Know, kind of high to where it's not just plain easy chest voice to where it starts to be belted out like so yeah. now don't do it loud like yeah ouch I can feel it scratching here try to hold it down not loud and now an exercise I always like to do is actually either have someone help me and kind of like try to push me like push me over and then I'm kind of have to resist that with my whole body keeping my upper body stiff and what's gonna happen is just like you really flex that support or what you can also do you could stand in front of a wall and try to push it keep your torso straight and push it while you're singing what that will do is just really help you flex those muscles like around your support all around so very important to not go yeah ouch but yeah very 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 supported and open so what happens when you push too hard you actually get more narrow and pressed and when you leave it open your throat your jaw relaxed when you keep that relaxation here but work with that air that comes through and really have that very, very hard support there really as a rock. I mean, your ab muscles should feel like you just done 100 sit-ups. That's just the way it is when you sing high and you don't wanna kill your voice. So you don't wanna be yelling, you wanna actually belt it out. So that I can sing without getting too loud, too loud. So. 
Hope these tips helped you a little bit and it's gonna save your voice for sure. Thanks for watching and don't forget to tune back in next Tuesday for another How to Sing That Song and of course on Thursday for another Q&A. Ask your questions below any of my videos and I'll be happy to answer them in one of my next videos. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day and don't forget always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. Bye!